Hey everybody, my name is James and this is West Tennessee Living. Appreciate you stopping by the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Atlas 40 volt 10 foot uh, pole saw, uh, battery powered. Pretty excited about it. Uh, I'm going to unbox it and show you how it works. Um, I know you want to see how it works first, so let's get to that and so we'll get to the rest later. It might not look like it, but that is actually a pretty decent sized frame right there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I just saw a neat little feature on this here. See this hook? That hook right there? I'm sure, you know, probably it's used for maybe hanging up or storage or whatever. But uh, what I just used that for, I cut off a limb up top and it wasn't coming out because it was caught. So I literally reached up there with this hook and yanked it out. I, I kind of like that, that's neat. I took the uh, extension out makes it considerably shorter i'm six foot so it goes from basically 10 foot to somewhere around six foot so i'm guessing those extensions are around three foot in between i think technically the box says 10 foot but i think somewhere else i saw that it said that it's actually a nine foot extension pole saw so that would make sense if this is three the middle section is three and the bottom's three so i'm going to see how this works All right, so there's some clips of it. We are going to unbox this thing here and see what all is inside. Uh, that. We got a big old bag of stuff here, it seems like. See how much assembly is involved in this. Actually, it looks pretty simple. Uh, looks like that ties into there. I have not read any instructions on this. Probably should. But it looks like we line that up. Okay. I like how that screws on there. It's a nice, a nice big chunk. And it looks like uh, you can go shorter, or in other words, you don't have to have the whole 10 foot, it looks like. It looks like you can actually go quite a bit shorter if you want. There's that. I have not put any bar oil in this yet. I feel like that would be a good idea before we... Oh, look at here. It comes with bar oil. I guess let's use the stuff it comes with all right there it is for you i'm going to give that a shot here's a tag on here 
risk of permanent equipment damage if not put the not put in there first take that thing off doesn't wonder how full this is supposed to be i guess can you put too much oil in the reservoir i guess when it starts coming out well that sure don't seem like a whole lot of oil i can't even see that in the reservoir for as much as they give you so I think I'm going to go ahead and put some more in it. it. says, operating with low oil or no oil causes permanent damage and boards, voids the warranty. So, uh, I went ahead. Oop, there we go. That's enough. That didn't take too much more. I went ahead and got the protection plan through uh, Harbor Freight. And I don't know how much you care about Harbor Freight. Some people are going to love them. Some people are going to hate them. You know, for as far as like for pros, you know, like buying drills and stuff from there, I probably wouldn't do it. I use Rigid, and they're very robust. Uh, but as far as like the consumer stuff, like this right here, I'm not going to go start start a lawn business with the Atlas Outdoor Power Equipment. But for what I'm going to do, like here around my house, I mean, maybe you know, if I'm doing some bush hogging or something, and for a customer, and the limbs are hanging low, I'd take it with me and use it. But as far as, you know, a professional grade, probably not. But everything else so far that I've gotten from there has been pretty good. And their warranty is very good. You can take this in. No questions asked. They will replace it. Uh, I mean, if the rubber wears off on the handle or something like that, you can take it to them and say, hey, I don't like this. I want a new one. And, you know, you go ahead and get another one. I think you have to re-up the uh, protection plan as far as that goes. Uh, right off the bat, it feels like, it feels like this is really flimsy. I mean, look at the the play in that. I don't, I don't know. This is this is my first uh, my first ever pole saw, so I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or what. Um, so that slips in there. See what happens. Ooh. All right. Well, there's the unboxing. All right, so first impression, um, I didn't really use it a whole lot because I don't have a whole lot of um, low hanging limbs around. Um, also, this is my first pulse saw that I've ever owned. But first impression, I absolutely love it. It was super smooth, it's super light. Seems like it has a lot of power. It buzzed through absolutely everything that I just tried to cut down. The, the one branch I did take down, it was, it was probably about you know that big around. It was pretty decent size, I guess, for such, having a small bar. Seemed like it had plenty of power. It did not bog down at all. The only thing that I feel like with having all three extensions on it, you know, it's between 9 and 10 feet, it seemed like it was really flimsy. Like you could hold it and go up and down with it, and it felt like the top and bottom kind of moved a little more than I would have thought it would. Again, I, I, I like it. I was, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got this little connector, so it's not any kind of a shaft. It, it's basically a rod with a wire going through it. It's all electric, it's got that little connector there. And <clears throat> each of the pieces, see there's this little, uh, this little notch on the inside right there on top, and that, that's how they all slide in together. First few clips I used uh, fully extended. Uh, the last couple of clips I used it just with two pieces. Basically goes from nine foot to six foot. I I'm impressed, I like it. The only thing that I'm not impressed with, um, so, you know, if you've watched any of my other videos before, I've had the chainsaw for a while. My uh, the the chainsaw was the first one that I bought, and I bought the uh, I did the build your own bundle thing. So I got the chainsaw, the charger, and one battery. Battery was around one hundred and fifty dollars. The chainsaw was somewhere around a hundred dollars, <throat> and the charger was thirty. So I already had one battery, but I knew with getting more tools, I wanted to have more batteries. So I just went back when I bought the the pole saw i bought another battery the pole saw was only like 70 bucks i want to say it was 69 something and i feel like that's really inexpensive and i i like that i'm happy with that what i don't like is the batteries are so expensive this battery was 150 dollars so that takes a 70 dollar pole saw and, and and takes you up pretty high and i don't know what pole saws normally run you might know more about that than i do i feel like like the battery platform is just a little expensive if it was a hundred dollars i mean especially if it was like you know 98 dollars or 89 dollars or something like that i think it i think it would be a very fair price but i feel like 150 bucks for one battery is just a little much 
for, for my opinion. The charger is 30. You can get a rapid charger, double the price. I think it's, I think it's even more towards a hundred dollars. I'm not sure how much faster it runs. As far as power, it has plenty of power. I'm not disappointed with that. The run time, I, we did a bunch of weed whacking yesterday. I, I never actually ran the battery out on the weed whacker. It, it ran a while. The chainsaw, again, if you've watched my other video, you've already heard me say, I ran the chainsaw with my buddy's gas powered chainsaw of the same size. And when he ran out of gas, my battery went dead. So I'm not disappointed with the battery life. I'm not disappointed with the battery power. What I am disappointed with is the price. I feel like it's a little expensive, but that's just my opinion. You know, take that, take that for whatever you want. I'm not a tree expert. I'm not a saw expert. I'm, I'm totally the uh, hobbyist when it comes to tree cutting. I like it. I'm happy with it. I would probably buy it again. If you're buying, if you're getting into Atlas just for the pole saw, I think it's too expensive. I think you could probably buy a better one uh, for less. Uh, you could probably buy the Makita, or not the Makita, but the Milwaukee uh, or the DeWalt. If you're already in that platform, it's going to save you a pile of money because you already have the batteries. If you're going to get into this platform, do the chainsaw, the weed whacker, some other stuff so you can swap around batteries. Really, the more tools you buy with the batteries, it's kind of the cheaper it gets for you because um, you're, you're, you've already absorbed that initial cost. I know here soon I'm going to be doing a review on the Weed Whacker. I'm actually really impressed with it. I like it. I don't think it's as sweet as the chainsaw, but it, it is, in fact, pretty sweet. And also, in the future, I really, really want to get the, uh, the push mower. I'm dying to try out to see how that works. I don't have a whole lot to push mow. Most everything, I use my zero turn for. I uh, really appreciate you stopping by the channel. Thanks for watching. I hope this you know, gave you some something to think about, some important information. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And again, my name is James. This is West Tennessee Living, and we'll see you in the next video.